Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Louise Collin. And I'm Lydia Esmer. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. My first poem is Up on a Pedestal by Vera Jaar from her book, Joy of Being. Please let me, O oh God, to put my mother up on a pedestal made of the purest gold. Adorn it with precious gems of Ceylon and poetry garlands strewn on pouring love from my heart. Please grant me, O oh God, poetic words melting like prime milk chocolate, solid as pure gold, glistening smooth, picking her out of all angels, placing in her womb, you blessed, poor soul like me forever. This is a poem that I wrote a few nights ago on waking from a lovely dream. So I called it On Waking from a Dream by Louise Collin. It isn't her. It's not her eyes, nor nose, nor mouth. She isn't dressed the way she dressed. But when I dream of one who climbs the winding road before me and knows the way to find the door that lets us in or out of that strange dream-roomed house, walled in blue dark fogs, and which Indian tribe lived here, below the moving mountain, or if this book, which no one wrote, is one I like, the phrases fill my mind with sharpened thoughts. I know it is her. She has returned, wanting, at least for a while, the world we made together more than paradise, or wanting me. I would like to read to you the poem called Stirred that I wrote about four years ago. It is in my book, Potpourri of Poetry and Song. Lord, your handiwork is manifest wherever I look. From cascading rivers that cleave primeval rock to song of babbling brook. Likewise, the rush of your love crumbles my obdurate will into humble submission and stirs my being with hymns of adoration. This is a poem called Office Politics by Michael J. Tucker. You are the red-headed fool. You became the spider's ally. Stupidly, you ran to her web. You didn't know you'd be her tool. Hushed whispers in an alabaster land, agreed murmuring would poison the well. She would sharpen the knife and place it in your hand. But your mind is too small, your eyes too weak. She knows your sin is greed. She will stab the bear's back if you can gain. Alas, there'll be none in the destruction you seek. She pulls your strain. You do the deed, no metamorphosis for you. The spider gets the wind, her competition gone. Naively, you followed her lead. You are now her slave. If she has her way and your red-headed way, you take the bail and stumble forward to your mistake. Headlong, you rush to a terrible day. Your feeble attempt misses the bear. The owl sees through the sham, and that's too bad for you because the bear really did care. You are of no use to anyone now. You've lost the bear and failed the spider. Now you'll lose your tongue and be carried off by the owl. Mm -hmm. my, last, my last poem today is Share One Earth by Vera Jaar from her book, Joy of Being. <clears throat> we are all the same deep down in the heart. We all seek happiness but go different routes. We yearn for peace, wish for heavenly bliss, yet we fight each other in endless, pointless battles. Green and blessed earth, one together that we share, land that is divided but joined by the oceans, one. One moon for the night for all, one sun to share with all. Help raise one another, all nations, not just for us. This is Rescue by our good friend S.R. or Sally Lee. 
I take her to the fields with me. Now she's outgrown the puppy look. She has tufts of hair in the wrong places. No time for our wrong dog here. She was on her way to death. I took her one night and no one said anything. Ramus assigned me the farthest spot beyond the stone cutters, a longer walk, a silent day, right for me and her. She brings in my food, one rabbit for lunch, two other small animals for supper. I take her to the fields with me. They would kill her back at the slipping place, for we slaves do not have dogs. I sleep in back of the cattle shed. When I must report in, she waits there for me. Ramus is a good overseer, a good man. He knows when to make exceptions. I take no care that no one pays me attention. I take her to the fields with me. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.